How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's time for another NHL 15 shootout commentary. And this time, I'm going to use the team that I feel has the best one-two punch down the middle for playoff hockey. Not for regular season hockey, playoff hockey, and that would be the Anaheim Ducks with Ryan Getzlaff and Ryan Kessler down the middle. I mean, these guys, they're a serious team this year. I don't want to get into predictions because I don't want to jinx anyone, but if you go back and and look at some of my predictions from the beginning of the playoffs. I actually did predict the Anaheim Ducks to go far. And you know, it's 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 a pattern that you see in playoff hockey. Look at the last five, even go back farther than that, but just the last five Stanley Cup winners. And look at their first line centers. Anze Kopitar, Jonathan Taves, Anze Kopitar, Patrice Bergeron, Jonathan Taves, and then you get down to Crosby, Dotsuk, back down to Ryan Getzlaff, right? But especially in the last five years, those centers, what they have in common is, yes, they have skill, offensive skill, but they can win face-offs. They have decent-sized frames that they can throw their body around. Um, they're contenders for the Selkie Trophy. And again, like I said, they have the skill on top of that. And then they also have a nice second-line center right behind them. Doesn't need to be a stud but needs to be somebody who knows how to play that style of playoff hockey. Now, hang on a second. Create game session. All right. Um, I was going through the teams that made the playoffs this year. And when you compare them to the Anaheim Ducks, man, Anaheim really does have a huge advantage down the middle for playoff hockey. I'm not talking about putting up points. I'm talking about playoff hockey. Look at some other teams here, like the St. Louis Blues. Bacchus and Stashney down the middle. A lot of uh, St. Louis, Louis, St. Louis Blues fans saying that guys like Bacchus and Oshie disappear come the playoffs. I mean, Bacchus has got good size to him, right? But is he top-level skilled talent for the NHL? And Paul Stashney, right? Is he a second-line center? Is he a third-line center because of uh, Laterra? You know, right? So it's not like they have that clear-cut 1-2 down the middle in St. Louis. Minnesota, Grandland and uh, Miku Koivu, same thing. Grandland's kind of young. Miku Koivu, you guys needed more out of. And I guess we're just going to wait for a team here. You know what? That's fine. I got... Oh, there we go. We got somebody now. Uh, the Nashville Predators, Mike Ribeiro and uh, Fisher. You know, these guys, I don't want to insult them, but they're clearly not top-level elite first-line center material on the same line as a Getzlaff or a Kopitar or a Taves, right? Hang on a second here. Uh, Corey Perry, Getzlaff, Silverberg, sure. And then Anderson. Let's continue there. Then we get the Chicago Blackhawks. They got Jonathan Taves, right? So there you go. First-line center. Marked off, but they have Brad Richards as their second line center, right? So I know back in 2010, I think Patrick Sharp was their second line center. So they could use a better second line center. And that's why I think Kessler beats out Brad Richards. Then you got Anaheim, which is obviously gets laughing Kessler. My top pick for the top two center core or the top center, the top one, two combination down the middle in the playoffs. There you go. Could try to get that out. The Winnipeg Jets, Shifley and Little. Shifley's still young. Little still has uh, some improving to go. Vancouver, Sedin and Benino. Benino, you know, he's not top-level NHL talent just yet in Sedin. I mean, offensively, absolutely. But what did I say? Selkie Trophy winning players who can use their body physically, get out there and kill penalties. Sedin's not that kind of player, right? The Calgary Flames, Sean Monaghan and Backlund, still a young team. The Montreal Canadiens, Thomas Buchanan and DeHarnay. Same thing, not comparable to Getzlaff and Ryan Kessler. The Ottawa Senators, Kyle Turrison's been a jad, still very young. Hang on a second here. Let's focus on this. I'll do a double loop. Boop. Uh, boop. There you go. Yeah, Jacob Silverberg. That's what I'm talking about. The Tampa Bay Lightning. Now, Tampa Bay Lightning, they're an interesting one because they have Filpula and Johnson down the middle because Stamkos is playing on the right side, right? But Stamkos could be their first line center and the guy's throwing his body around he can do it all he can score goals and the reason why I, be I believe Johnson is having such a good playoff run is because the other team is focused on Stamkos you know what I mean the guy gets to play behind Stamkos so they got a nice one two combination down the middle oh that's a nice goal right there by Rick Nash but I wouldn't say Johnson is an all utility center he's an offensive uh, center. He's a nifty center. He fits into the Tampa Bay Lightning play style, right? But he's not out there killing penalties. He's not out there. He's not comparable to a Ryan Getzlaff or a Jonathan Taves or a Anze Kopitar is what I'm saying, right? Stamkos down the middle. I wonder if he's going to be back in future years. The Detroit Red Wings, they got Datsuk and Zetterberg. And remember, they took the Tampa Bay Lightning to seven games, right? So interesting there. Oh, uh, Corey Perry. There you go, Corey Perry. Very nice. Uh, the New York Rangers, Derek Brassard and uh, Stepan. They're making a case for playoff centers. But again, the New York Rangers, man, they can't close out a series. Always going to Game 7. How many years now? In the last three, four years, how many Game 7s have the New York Rangers had? My God. The Pittsburgh Penguins, Crosby and Malkin. I mean, these guys are fantastic down the middle. But last few years, they haven't proven themselves in the playoffs. And I know the argument I'm going to get. They don't have a team around them. All right, fine. I'm not going to argue with you. Uh, what do you got for me? Oh, he got me. Very nice. 
the Washington Capitals, Backstrom and Kuznetsov. Again, it's not Getzlaff and Kessler. It's just it's just not. And the Islanders, Tavares and Nelson. Uh, Tavares is top-notch talent, right? But he's still young. So with all those teams that are in the playoffs, when you really look at them, top two centers for a team, it's got to be the Anaheim Ducks. Hang on a second. Uh, Kessler. Flick it. There you go. Very nice. And they can both do it all, man. If they needed to kill a penalty at the end of the game, they could throw Kessler and Getzlaff out there at the same time. So if one of them misses the face-off, the other guy could just go out there and win it himself, right? So it's a pattern that I've noticed, and I think that's something that a team really does need to become a Stanley Cup winner. Oh, my God! He's sniping it every time on me, that side! I, I, I'm, hang on a second. I'll talk about this after the shootout here. i got to win this one. This guy's going... Are you? I'm right there, I thought. All right, fine. I want to try that shot myself. Let's look. I'm even on the left... I'm so on the left. How does he snipe that? All right, fine. Ryan Getzloff, the guy I'm talking about. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, big oh, damn it. I wanted to try it to him. All right, hang on a second here, boys. I want to win this shootout. We'll talk about the uh, first line and second line centers in a second here. Come on now. All right, Zuccarello. He's going to go. I'll give it to him, and then I'll move. I'll give it to him, and then I'll move. Oh, oh, oh never mind. Flying poke check. There you go, son. Yeah, game over. Oh, it's not game over. Oh, right, he got three. I got... Oh, that, you know, it sets it up, boys. Matt Bolesky. All right, fuck it, we'll do it. Here we go. Matt Bolesky coming down. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I picked it right back up. God damn it. No, oh, God damn it, he didn't move. All right, so we might have to go some distance here, boys. We'll talk about the uh, first and second line centers for the playoffs after this. Come on now, Captain Keith. Uh, yeah, this guy loves shooting back glove side. I don't know, is that like a, a high percentage player side? It looks like he still had it. I was way out there. I want to try that now. I want to try this. Hang on, here we go. Zip! Ah, oh, no, Lundqvist makes the save. Come on now, Boschman. You gotta rip that. Nah, there's no way Boschman's gonna snipe that. Come on, buddy, press A. All right, here we go. Dan Girardi, what do you got for me? Gotta make a save. Gotta, no, 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 blocker side. Oh, look at this guy! He's just sniping it every time off that glove. And it's working, too. I'm way out there, and he's still ripping it. All right, here we go. Jackman, let's go. Here we go. Uh, zip! No, he didn't fall for it. Damn it! This guy's in my head now, man. This might be a long shootout, boys. Strap yourselves in. We'll talk about the uh, the topic in a second here. Oh, no, 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 no. There you go. Glove safe. I really go far out of the net I am. I'm like three feet above the crease. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, very nice. Oh, 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 there you go. Got him faked. Hugging the post. Jackass shot. And that's all she wrote. So the Anaheim Ducks win it. So, boys, I want to know your opinions about not... When it comes to the regular season, all right? I'm not talking about the teams that are not in the playoffs this year. I'm talking about the teams that made the playoffs this year. When you really break it down and you look at their first-line center and their second-line center, because to me, that's what you need to win a Stanley Cup. Obviously, goaltender, defenseman, yeah, 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 yeah. But if you look at the last five teams that have won the Stanley Cup and you look at their first and second-line centers, they have depth and they all kind of play... I don't want to say play the same way, but they're skilled players who also... Have a decent sized body who can use the physicality, also win faceoffs, kill penalties, do it all basically, and lead their team by example, not just by scoring goals. I'll say it, like a guy like Patrick Kane, you know, he's much better because of the defensive minded players he has on that team helping him out. He gets to do all the offense, right? So when it comes to the Anaheim Ducks, you got Ryan Getzlaff and Ryan Kessler down the middle. Two guys who can both do it all. And then this guy, Corey Perry, he can play on the wing and benefit from that, right? So that's what I'm talking about. I want to know, out of all the teams that have made the playoffs this year, who do you guys think has the best 1-2 down the middle for playoff hockey? I think it's the Anaheim Ducks. I said it at the beginning of the playoffs. And now, you know, they're one game away from getting to that Stanley Cup Finals. No predictions. I'm just saying, man, the patterns are real in the NHL. You need big first line centers with a solid second line center to go far and i think the anaheim ducks have what they need this year it's all i'm gonna say all right boys so let me know and i'll see you guys in the next one